number one and only hit music station, Q102. It's Q102, Philly's number one hit music station with Raphael. Got a special guest in the studio today. You've probably seen him in the trailer for Spider-Man Homecoming. He's, uh, let's say, Peter Parker's best friend, I guess mm. we can say. Yeah, Give it course. up for Jacob Badalon. Hey, yeah. what's up, everyone? Hi, hi, hi. You know, it's it's funny because I try to say Badalon, but I, I I know what it's like. I'm Filipino like yes, you. Yes, yes. It's Batalon. Yes. Per, like, the actual pronunciation. That is so great. <laughs> Dude, what's up, man? How are you? Good, 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 man. I'm glad you have me. Thank you for having me Dude, on. Dude, thanks for coming by. Course, I was like, if, if they were telling me, like, hey, you want to interview... Uh, Jacob from Spider-Man. I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, because I love the Spider-Man series, especially oh, the new one that they're coming out with, Homecoming. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how is it working with the guys there, like Tom yeah. Holland and? Yeah, um, you know what's so what's so great about being on a uh, on a film like that is that everyone really wants to do a good job, and you know, every day on set was just like this really positive energy where everyone was putting in their hard work, and I really appreciate like all these creative and like all these really really talented people I got to work with. Yeah, and how um, did you actually stumble upon this? Because I know yeah. you said you left college in yeah, yeah. Uh, Hawaii and you yeah, came yeah. to New York yeah. for film school. I um my manager at the time he I mean Sarah Finn, the casting director for Marvel, she had basically used every platform she could to find this mm. person. I mean, this role was like worldwide basically, and uh, she used everything she could use. Like from she didn't just ask studios; she asked like she like used websites that actors use, like right. Actors Access and stuff like that. And my manager caught wind of it. And he put me up for the self-taped. And at the time, the self-tape was labeled Untitled Marvel Project. So this was, you really had no idea what yeah. this movie was about. It was just a yeah. Marvel project. Yeah, and it was crazy because when I got the uh, script for the callback self-tape, mm -hmm. it was like this whole secretive like Agent Bond thing where I had to get like <laughs> a secret password for my laptop to unlock it on my on my laptop. So like, like your laptop's going to explode in 10 seconds yeah, from now after you know the information. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it was crazy, but yeah. Dude, that's crazy. So, like, did you ever want you? You've always wanted to do acting, or I I want to be a musician at first. Okay. I when I was going to college still in Hawaii, I was studying music theory, but mm -hmm. then I dropped out, and then acting kind of just happened for me. Film school made me really made me really appreciate filmmaking, and uh, now I just I mean I love I love making movies. You know, it's great. This is your first break, actually. Like uh, yeah. Spider Man Homecoming obviously uh, opens yeah. in theaters July seventh, yes. right? So that's yes. a couple of weeks away. Um, how's how's the experience so far in, yeah. in a major film like this with yeah. Marvel and working with people and just like the whole experience? Talk yeah. about that a little bit. You know, it's it's crazy because fans of Marvel are very very dedicated yeah. and they know every. I mean. Well, we we did Comic Con last year, and these people knew more things about me than I did about myself. <laughs> That's what for happens. Some, for, some, for some weird reason, like, and uh, it's great. It's great though, because the I mean, I I appreciate their. I just appreciate their loyalty, you know, and mm -hmm. people love Spider-Man just in general. Like, they know your birthday, yeah. they're like, hey, here's a present, I'm like, my birthday's not tomorrow, I know, but here you go, it's your favorite thing that you wanted, I looked it up. It's so funny, no, it's really sweet, and um, yeah, no, it's been a really great time, you know, these people have been waiting for a really good, have been waiting for another uh, Spider-Man film for a long time, and uh we're glad to be able to give it to them. Now, yeah. you're Ned Leeds, right? You're yes, the uh, yes. um, his best friend in yes, high school. But yes. now, this is actually different from the comic books, right? Yes. He, um, so Ned Leeds in the comic books is uh, in the amazing, I think, that, that mm -hmm. story arc. He's a, like a reporter in the Daily Bugle. He's right. Like, and they meet yeah. after like high yeah. school, right? It was yeah. after Peter Parker. He's like, they're yeah. not even friends. He's like the yeah. six foot tall, blonde, white guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I mean, totally you, bro. Yeah, I'm saying. Like, I'm pretty sure I hit the, hit the part pretty well. Um, but um, yeah, no, he's, he's like a Daily Reporter guy. And uh, I mean, he turns into the Hobgoblin. Uh, well, he right. gets brainwashed into thinking right, he's thinking the Hobgoblin. Right, thinking he is, yep. And um uh yeah no I I think um a lot of comparisons I've been drawn to was more Genki from uh from uh the Miles Morales stories and mm -hmm. um that's kind of like what I mean we we just took the name Ned Leeds and kind of just made our own character out of it right they yeah. you created like something and this is obviously a reboot so it's you know yeah. it, it kind of yeah. just you they wanted to what like merge the Marvel universe with yeah. like Iron Man and the yeah. whole like storyline there yeah, right they, they want they um they just want Spider Man in the MCU like the crowning jewel basically right yeah yeah and how how was it working on set like were they long days like, yeah you know we did like you know regular twelve thirteen hours mm -hmm. um some days we'd go over just just because we'd want to do work you know and um it turned out really well I was <laughs> I was just telling them telling Ryan and everyone that uh I while we were filming I. I'm surprised that we got any, anything done because we yeah. were just playing around like 24 seven on set. So like when I saw the final cut of it, I was just like, wow, yeah. we look, we there's, actually, there's a lot of, yeah. we there's, actually look pretty professional. There's like, a lot of B roll there of you just screwing around. <laughs> What's so funny is that, like, oh man, there's so much, so do you, much. Do bloopers. you have like a funny story like on, on set? Tell yeah, us. Yeah. So there's this one scene where we're in the gym and uh, I, 
Tom and I, I mean, Peter and Ned over here, like uh, Peter's crush, uh, Liz Allen, who pl- who's played by Laura Harrier. Okay. She uh, She's talking about how she likes Spider-Man, has a crush on him. Yeah. And like, I can't help but yell out, uh, uh, Peter knows Spider-Man. Yeah. And then like, <laughs> oops. Yeah. And uh, it, like, in between, like during takes, I'd be like, uh, Peter knows Peter, man. Or or like, Peter knows, P- 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 like, I no, was just, just it was crazy. <laughs> and uh, everyone would just laugh and I'll just ruin a lot of takes. Now, now how <laughs> many like take, does it? Does it take a little bit to like yeah. get the lines down? I yeah. mean, this is your first um, major movie, but I mean, yeah. how does that work? Well, with you, you know, uh, you know, as an actor, you, you need to understand. I mean, professionally, honestly, I mean, professionally, you just need to know what you need to be doing, and you know, lines is basically the story, and so you need to know that like in your bones, and uh, you know, that's just a part of the preparation. I think that what's difficult about that is um, adding like actual actions into the into the t- talking, right? So um, like delivery, more yeah, more yeah. or less, right? It's just like uh, it's just that, and um, you know. I mean, I had to learn how to do that stuff, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, did you have, like, an acting coach on site with you? Or? Uh, no, I mean, I graduated from film school so right you didn't before. Need, you don't need yeah. that. Okay. I mean, yeah, no, I mean, I'm not going to be like. Pro, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to sit up here and be like, yeah, I'm better than RDJ or whatever. <laughs> but, you know, like, I'm, I'm definitely trying my best. So, yeah. so what other projects are you um, yeah. in uh, coming up or um, lined up? Yeah, lined I just uh, wrapped this film in New Orleans called The True Don Quixote. And, um, Ooh. yeah, we did. Uh, I did that with Tim Blake Nelson, who's just, like, a legend, you know. And, um mm-hmm. He uh he's great. I love New Orleans. I've never been there before, and it was like the yeah, greatest time of my you life. You get to travel a lot now for yeah. this. Film. I mean, the the yeah, promo yeah. tour. You're all over the place, right? You just it's said you fun. were like, yeah, in Singapore. In Singapore, yeah, yeah. That flight is oh no. I'll tell you this though. What's so good about like you know being in a big budget thing with a big company is that they put you in first class stuff. <laughs> you're like, flying high. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> What's so cool? Like my flight, my flight. Um, God, my flight going back home, coming back here. They put me on uh, Singapore Airlines, and Singapore Airlines has like this really big airplane and like they're like, like the, the double first, decker one like of those? Yeah, yeah and like the first like the first class cabins aren't even like seats they're like actual like hotel like rooms. bedrooms it's crazy <laughs> as heck but like so you're just there laying in the plane you're yeah. like oh, oh this feels good <laughs> yeah living like how like the queen would you know it's been fun no. <laughs> <Start going on. laughs> well yeah no it's been great dude yeah. spider-man homecoming july 7th in yeah. theaters everywhere i'm mm-hmm. so bummed i'm gonna miss the screening man. sorry man i'm so <sighs> so sorry it would have been great i mean it's gonna be good it'll be a good wait well that's why i brought these i brought these masks all here right, because right. maybe we can like maybe do a scene together i don't know <laughs> I, with these masks you want to put one on yeah you want to be spider-man i know <laughs> I know in the movie you're like, can I wear the mask? And, you know, Peter wouldn't let you. I've been telling people I've been, I'd be a better Spider-Man than Tom. Oh, what did Tom say? I mean, I've been saying that to his face, even on set, so it don't even matter. All right, let's put these masks on. (laughs) All right, so, um, I don't know, should we, should we reenact? Should I be Tony Starkish or should I? (laughs) Uh, You look great in the Spider-Man costume, by the way. (laughs) You can actually move the mask and like, Yeah, this is cool. You can do that scene where you can like kiss someone and, no, (laughs) I'm just kidding. So, uh, what, so uh, what scene should we do? I, I, you, um, you probably have a better uh, sense of the movie. There, I mean, I know if Tony Stark doesn't wear his Iron Man mask yeah. too much, So I can be like, oh, Tony, I just want to be a part of the Avengers. Oh, yeah, we could do the part where he yeah. wants to try to be an Avengers. Yeah, okay, yeah. Go ahead. I just, I really want to be an Avenger, Mr. Stark. Can you please? Uh, what do you have to bring to the table? Uh, I can shoot webs, and sometimes it comes out of my butt, too. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, we would like to see that in action sometime here. I mean, like, if we ever fight a villain, I could just fart on his face and see what happens. All right. Uh, you're hired as part of the Avengers. Welcome to the team. Oh, my goodness. See? There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Jacob Batalon, thank you so thank much. You, thank you for having me. Thank for coming so in. Thank of you, course, you. Spider-Man Homecoming, July 7th, in theaters everywhere. Thank you so much, bro. Of course. Thank you. Thank you.